the flower of Italy, garlic. Great taste accent for all your recipes and incredible health benefits. Yes, this little bulb of garlic will lower your blood pressure, cholesterol, shoot up your immune system, and it even helps to heal the common cold. But you have to buy the right kind of garlic. And this is organic fresh garlic. This is a bulb. We're going to use six cloves in my recipe for penna pasta pescata. And I'm going to show you all the secrets of cooking with garlic, preparing with garlic the right way so you never have garlic breath. Yes, I know some of you talk about that. But this is the secret. It's the garlic crush. We're going to crush three cloves of garlic in the beginning and three in the end as well as adding our fresh herbs. That gives you maximum of taste and health benefits. So your garlic crush is your secret. It disperses the oils and the juice in the sauce, not the roof of your mouth when you're cutting chunks of garlic. That's how you get garlic breath. So there's the secrets in the right kind of garlic, in preparing it, and in cooking with it. And now for our sauce. The best pastas come from Abruzzi, which is the Pescata region where my family's from. And in the hills, there are three different kinds of pastas made. You want to look for imported pasta because it's pure germ semolina, gives you all the health benefits and lower in calories. And this is a fabulous new one by Barilla. It's called Plus. And it's multigrain and it's all protein. So, oh, you talk about health benefits. This really does it. So, we're going to use the penna or the rotini shape. And starting with the right kind of pasta, we're going to do a sauce that is quick, easy, light, healthy, and economical. Yes, I'm going to show you the economical version. You can go as elaborate as you want and add clams and shrimps and lobster, um, salmon, halibut, whatever you like. But I'm going to show you fabulous sauce with tuna fillets, which are marinated in garlic. You can find this in any one of your um, specialty stores, health food stores, and of course the secret base of every tomato sauce, your top chefs in the world, your best gourmet cooks at home, San Marzano tomatoes. This is not a pasta sauce. This is just a puree of the tomatoes. So we're going to make our sauce from scratch, add the tomato puree, we're going to do the tuna, the anchovies, and add the calamari last, the garlic cloves last, and the fresh herbs. So let's go to my kitchen now and I'm going to show you more cooking techniques, more about garlic. So I'm saying saluta to you, which means to your good health in Italian, and to the bella vita. Enjoy life and good food. A la garlic. Hi. I'm going to show you a quick, light, easy, and healthy pasta sauce. It's called Pasta Pescata. And this is from a region of Abruzzo, where my family's from. And that's where seafood and pasta is their uh, gastronomic specialty. And the pasta we're going to use is from the hills of Abruzzi. And we're going to start with cooking the pasta and making the sauce so that you've got the pasta ready to go. So you boil uh, cold water uh, and take it all the way up to the top. And I'm using penna pasta. This is great for entertaining, easy to cook. And this is a, a Barilla di Cecco del Verde imported pasta. It's 100% durum semolina, lower in calories, and stays al dente. I slightly undercooked this and I rinsed it in cold water because we're going to do a real quick segment. Um, and that's called the segreto method, which means you can hold the pasta and then add it to the sauce and entertain with it. And speaking of the sauce, we're going to do a quick and easy sauce and not let each ingredient cook down because it's strictly garlic. We're going to talk a lot about garlic. And this sauce has six garlic cloves. I'm using organic garlic, which is much more pungent, tasty, and healthier. And so the way that you use the garlic in the pan so that you don't get garlic breath is to use a garlic crush. And I'm using about three of the cloves first. And we add this to the pan. And I'm going to add 
about two tablespoons of olive oil, good extra in olive oil, some crushed red pepper for a little pungent taste, and I'm going to add the rest of the clove at the end so that you really have the taste of garlic and you get the healthy benefits, which is really great for your immune system, detoxifies your body, and is good for the heart. Many of your ailments, you'll notice that the Mediterranean diet is about garlic. Anchovies, you can use the big fillets and crush them. I'm using anchovy paste, which is about three tablespoons. And this is gonna give a base to the sauce, which really is a secret to many of your seafood sauces. So we're adding the anchovy paste, and we're gonna go now to the fish. I've selected um, a wonderful tuna, tuna fillets with garlic, so we have a double potent garlic sauce. And all you have to do is add these to your pan. They're already prepared, and you just crush them down. And this way you have everything already in your kitchen, ready to go, the boxes of pasta. Just have to get the fresh garlic, okay? Just break up those tuna fillets. You can use salmon, you can use mussels, lobster, um, leftover halibut, any kind of seafood that you like in a mixture. I'm going to add the tomato sauce now. You keep moving, don't let the ingredients cook down, you'll lose the freshness. This is the secret to many of your um, best tomato sauces. Your chefs will agree, San Marzano tomatoes. It's a sweet, wonderful, perfect taste. This comes in a puree, and uh, this is a Don Pomodoro sauce. So I'm adding, this is for four people, so I'm adding the large jar, it's 24 ounces. It's called San Marzano tomatoes. This is visually gorgeous. You're going to love entertaining with this sauce. Okay, and we're adding some capers, small capers that you rinse so that they're not salty. Two tablespoons of capers. And olives. The olives are kalamati and they're pitted, which makes it easy. You can use any kind of olive you want. I'm using about 10 olives in the sauce. And as I said, you can use any kind of fish that you like. Scallops are wonderful in this dish, but I'm going to use calamari. Everybody loves calamari. You can buy this already uh, pre-cooked in containers in the health food store in any of your specialty stores. Or you can do your own calamari which is just rinse in cold water and cut it down. So we're gonna add the calamari to the sauce. Again, we don't let it cook down. Beautiful. The colors and the pungent taste. Italian herb seasoning. You can buy this in a jar. It's already mixed. It gives you the right amount of basil, majorum, and uh, oregano. Don't be afraid, because this is your secret for the spicy taste. This and the cayenne we're going to add. So I'm adding about four tablespoons of the Italian herb seasoning. Use a nice big wooden spoon. And mix your ingredients so that the flavors blend. And last, we have the cayenne is the secret for your metabolic rate, for uh, digestion, for smooth, easy taste, and it's Italian parsley. You can take fresh Italian parsley and chop it, or you can buy the organic Italian parsley, which is very good, and keep it on hand. I did a lot of this with already prepared ingredients for you. But our last ingredient is our garlic that we're going to continue to add to the sauce for the pungent taste. Any 
anytime you're doing seafood, you want to bring up herbs, and you want to bring up the garlic paste, but you don't add cheese. Uh, that seems to be it in the restaurants where they will offer the cheese. No garlic breath, because we're using the garlic crush. This blends in the oils, um, become really part of the sauce. It's when you have chunks of garlic that you get garlic breath, but not when you crush the garlic. So here we are, our penna pasta pescata. And it's mixed seafood with olives, capers, and lots of garlic and hot pepper, which is very good and healthy for you. Now you're ready to add the pasta to the sauce. So here we have our imported pasta. And again, I've cooked this al dente so that it's going to cook another few minutes right in the sauce. Now, if you're not going to be serving this right away, um, then turn the gas off and put it on the back burner and heat it up just when you're ready to serve it. That's a secret in entertaining with pasta. And you can keep this for a week in your refrigerator, add other seafood to it, add some more tomato sauce. Um, it's a very creative dish and it's very appealing. So whatever your seafood taste be, be sure that you add the garlic. And a little in the beginning and a little in the end. And it's organic, fresh garlic. Here we are, penna pasta for the Bella Vida.